afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Monday, November 23rd, 2015, and we're honored to have with us in the studio the Bottle Rockets. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so we're ready to rumble then, right? Yeah, do it. Let's rumble. <laughs> Watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with the Bottle Rockets. What's up, guys? Thank uh, you so much for oh coming man, out here and playing for us. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, why don't you just roll into your next one right now? Let's Take it away, and right then we'll now. chat. Are you ready? Let's roll. Are you ready to roll? Is your hi hat ready? <laughs> now it is. <laughs> <laughs> now he's ready. Okay, let me do this. Let's. Here we go. Goes like this. <laughs> Okay, I don't want him to, he's my dog 
this simple Sometimes life is really just this simple I love my dog That's okay, I don't want you to ease my dog. You're watching the Bottle Rockets on Audio Tree Live. Could we go around real quick and um, just chat about gear for a minute? I know we talked about it before the session, but for people, for viewers, could you explain quickly maybe what we talked about with the pedals? Where are those pedals that you're using? Oh, from? my fancy pedals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, one is just a typical, like, Taiwanese boss <laughs> TU2 stage tuner. There we go, tuner. tuner. Okay. So <laughs> that, that's common guitar center gear. The other stuff is all sort of handmade in St. Louis. So it's like I have these barefoot FX pedals, which are made by a guy named Donner Rusk in St. Louis. Yeah. And then the, the uh, Earth Drive, which is made by a guy named Brad Sarno in St. Louis. So they're basically, it's a compressor and three overdrive pedals is okay, what sure. I got going on here. Yeah, and what attracts you about the sounds of those specifically? They just work with when you play one of these yeah you need special you have special needs okay <laughs> <It's> yeah like, <laughs> these are like special needs children and so these I were the ones i made mince these yeah. were the ones that 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 worked best with this as far okay. as getting you a variety of sounds out of it okay yeah sweet others yeah. uh you man what you're working with uh i've got uh, a bunch of stuff <laughs> on the floor <laughs> here um there's a boost pedal a uh, flanger, and then a uh, another modulation effect, a phaser, and then the earth drive and delay. Basically, I just like to rip off my Guitar Heroes. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> want to sound like them. Yeah, huh? I have the deluxe. I, I mean, I have the the flanger to the to electro harmonics. Sure. Uh, electric mistress. That that's like the James Honeyman Scott sound, and like yeah. like all that stuff you hear like on on a. It sounds like a chorus, but it's you okay. know on some of those like. Uh, early mid '80s guitar people. It's really a flanger. Yeah. And then uh, the phaser, just because it sounds so great. It's, so you can get get these kind of like almost keyboard part, keyboard part like things going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. And then I've got an Earth Drive as well too. Um, Made by the same dude. Yeah. Sarno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's just a great all around kind of overdrive okay. pedal. And it, Brad's getting kind of famous for it too. Like like. Um, Nels Klein talks it up, and Lee Ronaldo, and, and Bob, you know, Bob, Bob Weir. Weir is yeah, using Bob Weir is yeah. using no teal too. Yeah, using yeah. Black it's a great thing. It's yeah, sort of that, like a, it's sort of like a much more usable tube screamer. Okay, really, okay, is how I would yeah, describe it. Yeah, yeah, right on. And so then that comes from like a fairly small shop, or I mean, it's just Basically, one guy. Him or, and his okay. wife solder him yeah. out on the patio. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's that's rad, man. To yeah. be recognized for that, honestly. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I know you're playing our house kit, but what do you normally play, or what uh, what gear I, do you normally work I have with? A, a pearl drum kit usually. Okay. Yeah. Without any effects pedals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he started with a few, but then just went for a standard yeah, I, I drum set. I spaced them out after a while. Yeah, yeah. They weren't working for me. No need. Yeah. And you're playing a, a special needs Made instrument as well. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I wrestle with it every night. <laughs> so yeah, what, what do you mean by right that? Now. Yeah. No, what, what do you guys mean with that? It's just they're finicky, or well, they're... no, they're actually real solid and stable instruments. Yeah. They're just they're just basically not known for some of the stuff we do with them okay right, okay which right. is like you know these are known more for for like the jingly jangly whatever which we do that but we also do things that are like wild woolly and you know we we do everything from like birds type sounds to like neil young type sure. sounds 
So these are perfectly fine when you're doing the birds type sounds, but, but they're perfectly hard to <laughs> get the Neil Young sound out of. Yeah. So that's why you need three overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> over, over, overdrive right. is what's necessary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that concludes our tech corner. <laughs> yeah, and that's tech corner brought to you by the bottle rack. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you guys roll into your next one? All right, let's do the next one. Okay, let's just do it. Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with the Bottle Rockets. You guys can get ready to go into your next one, and I will say that South Broadway Athletic Club is out now. You can get it, and they're playing a few more shows yet this year. So St. Louis on November 28th, Dallas, Texas, and then Alexandria, Virginia as well. So check them out if you're in or around those places. Take it away. All right. Let's go for it. about who you see or where you go when you're not with me. You're so much better than the mystery 
Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with the Bottle Rockets. Would you guys share with me a little bit about how you see the industry having changed over the last couple of decades? We were joking earlier, you said that you're one of the only dinosaurs left who kind of started yeah, prior to the internet and yeah. still exists now with the internet. Have you have you gotten used to that side of things? Yeah, of social was, media posting, stuff like that? Definite growing curve on yeah. that, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Because we were in before there was internet, our first, you know... Three albums don't have www dot anything on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there was no such a thing back then. And uh, then we went through the, you know, figuring out. We still haven't really figured it out. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness Bloodshot kind of has that part sorted out. Right. Forward, they right? have that locked We don't down. do it very well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, we're still struggling with the concept of, like, music is free. But <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's, uh, I don't know, you sort of figure it out somehow, and... Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out one of these days. Yeah. <laughs> does, does that change the music is free part? Does that change your mentality when you're writing? Do you think? No. It, no. No, okay. not at all. But it does. You know what does change the mentality is is the uh, well, yeah, kind of. It, it, it's not so much that it's free, but it's like it's different now. And sure. like you know, you can people don't necessarily have to get an album anymore. Mm -hmm. They can get one song at a time. Mm -hmm. And we sort of made this album with that in mind. As as you know, we wanted we were for a little while thinking of just releasing everything as a single. Okay. So it's basically less of an album and more of a collection of singles. Okay. It, and that's what it did, and it turned out really great that way. Yeah. Because people are loving like every song on it. But right. Because we were making it kind of with that in mind, but we were hoping that people would buy them as singles rather than just <laughs> then take just them stream as them. Yeah, or take but them it, as singles. But it doesn't matter. It's funny in in our effort to. Uh, deal with this kind of world of free music we're actually probably selling more of this one than <laughs> than any we have in a lot of years yeah so, right on I, there, you, there, there's just no tell <laughs> yeah 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 and and with that so you're saying that prior albums were more conceptual or yeah, they were tied absolutely. into a theme okay the, fir the first album that we did that we realized the internet had changed everything was this album called zoysia back in 06 that came out. Yeah. I always remember that. It came out on 6606. Okay. So, but anyway, we had slaved over the artwork and the liner notes and did all this stuff and sent it out there. And I would just do an interviews when that album came out and, and just realized that no one had seen the artwork mm. because, you know, it was just, it, it was an internet world now. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was like people weren't, you know, they might have seen the album. The thumbnail. Cover. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 So that's when we realized, wait a minute, you know, we're working like this, like 19, you know, 78 when it's yeah. 2006 now. Yeah, yeah. And, and so we didn't really ever slave that hard over our work. Sure. Anymore. After that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Learned our lesson on that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Especially with, I mean, yeah, you do so much on the inside of like the booklet or just the right. inside of it yeah. itself. But it if they only see the outside. It matters to us, but it's sure. less important these days. Right. We're not yeah. going to hold up a release date over artwork anymore. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. What about um, things that you've seen that are through lines, like exactly the same always? I mean, that, that have not changed after uh, all this time. Gigs at Shank Hall in Milwaukee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> They've been the most consistent gigs everywhere, anywhere we've ever been. It's okay. like, it's pretty much been the same thing since 1995. And it's yeah. not necessarily good or bad. It's just like, it, it just is. is. It is what it is, you know, <laughs> okay. and it, it's, it's consistent. It's very, yeah. and 
you can count on it. You you know what's going to happen, and I, that's good. That's got a yeah. that's got a goodness to it. So, yeah, yeah. Are are there any other venues or spots that have that, or at least a similar consistency, or is that that would be the that one? is the most consistent club in America for us as okay. far as, as things happening like that. Everything else is sort of a wild card. You know, you yeah. just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, S- especially not these days. Like the industry is just, you know, it's it's crazy. You know, lots of clubs we used to play have closed down now. Okay. So, like, Columbus, Ohio, we lost every club we played there. Boston, we lost a whole bunch of them. They're, they're just closing up, going out of business. Yeah. It, so. it, it seems like the touring band ratio and the club ratio, the club ratio has gotten much smaller while the touring band ratio has gotten much larger. Okay, okay. So there's, well, what's happened is the touring band ratio is either larger or the same. Okay. But they're targeting yeah. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, smaller yeah. amount of clubs. Right, right, so right. it's really hard to book tours now. Got because it. you've got a book so far out. Yeah. I see. And because you got you got five thousand bands trying to play five hundred clubs in right, America. Right, right. So less options right. and more bands trying to fill yep. them up. So it's really, really tough to book club dates. Yeah. Now. You'll see a lot of bands going to alternative locations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. You know, like like civic centers, art, you know, things like that. Because yeah, the, sure. the club, performing arts centers and stuff. Right. Yeah. The club scene is is really it's it's changed. Do a you lot. see Do you see any positives from that from the performing arts center stuff or from the sort of alternative venue well, scene? It's a different at all? vibe. Okay. You know, it's like a sit down proper show. Yeah, yeah. But the like. The, the, the new frontier these days are house concerts, actually. Sure. House right. shows. Right. That's a whole new thing that's going on. Yeah, and I've seen you guys do a couple, like, acoustic or more stripped down, like, mm-hmm. house show stuff. Yeah. yeah, to sort of just fit that need or because you were interested in it, it as well. It's a, it's a cool thing, though. I yeah. mean, it's really, I mean, it's still, like, a really kind of musically satisfying sure. thing right. to do. Yep. Yeah, and it sure is easy to load in and out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you don't have to bring in anything. <laughs> right. Just your yeah, Actually, the, the other easy logistical thing is setting those up. Those we can set those up like in a couple of weeks. Okay, you know, sure. Those are, those can yeah, there's no really advance fast. time needed yeah. on those. Yeah, we, we can actually put out an APB on our website. You know, it's like we're looking for house concerts in this city, this city, and this. city. Yeah, and then someone just hits you up. Yeah. Who's yeah? Well, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's at least positive. It's also a great way to have a good show on a Sunday or a Monday. Right. Sure, right. sure. Yep. Which yeah. are historically bad for venues. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Hold right by on. 10 o'clock. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. And then that's good for you guys, too. Yeah. So, yeah, sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, thanks for sharing. You can roll into your next one when you're All ready. All right, let's roll into the next one. Turn that thing off for dang
morning, just like that. Brother, we're far from home, so far from home. Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with the Bottle Rockets. So question definitely for Brian and Mark, but for all of you as well. Um, h- how do you see your roles in the band evolving over time? Like, especially in terms of outside of the songwriting things, you know, things like business side, you know, merchandising, that kind of thing. Uh, Mark is Mr. Business. Okay. Yep, he does. Yeah. That which, which has always been the case? or Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, sort of, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just you fell into it, or or is something you were interested in in the first place? Just the best at it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, Fair if, enough. If I don't do it, it won't get done. Yeah, I guess. very, very <laughs> a lot more go. thorough than any of us. Okay, <laughs> right, sure, <laughs> sure. And others, what Sucks about for it? him? Sometimes. Though. Yeah, yep. seriously though. <laughs> what about like you know main drivers or anything like that? Do oh, you all switch? I'm a hundred percent driver. All, always. Pretty much, unless I'm. I, I mean, it's, it takes a lot to get me out of the driver's seat. <laughs> okay. Yep. Which is because you either got to be sick or I have to have like have been awake for 48 hours yeah. straight. And then I'll only give it up for an hour or two. But but I can't back up very well. Yeah. So, so I can drive like 6,000 miles and then make Keith back it into a parking spot. Brian's like a shark. He can only move forward. Yeah, he only moves forward. Can't back up. You just have to go in a circle if right, you need right. to go the other direction. You can't oh, turn yeah. back around. Is that because you're bored sitting otherwise? I can't like sleep a... in a moving vehicle. Okay. And it's, I never could. And, and I mean, I have to be so tired to fall asleep in a moving vehicle. I mean, sometimes my slump hours are between like two and four. Okay. So it's like, I'll, that's when the sun's coming in the windshield and I'm kind of... Whoa, whoa, like whoa. drowsy. And then, and then sometimes I'll turn it over I'll to Keith over and then this. I'll hop in the passenger seat and I'll be wide awake as soon as I get over there. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes you just need a little, like, you know, hour or two break from it. A little but. phone time. A little phone yeah, time. Yeah, a little, yeah. A little staring at the screen <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah. Just to take your mind off it. Oh. Yeah, I bet that's changed too, right? All of you have cell phones now. Oh, yeah. Versus 1993 or Shoot, whatever. we've been doing this yeah. since before there was any of that. Yeah, yeah. car phones even. No phones. I mean, that was it was a treehouse. You'd hop in the van, and you were in a treehouse yeah. boys club. Yeah. No one could get a hold of you. <laughs> and it was, you know, now everyone can get a hold of you. <laughs> At all times. You know, the phone sounds like a Jerry Lewis telethon with your phones going off all over the place. You know, and the you had van. To- <laughs> had to do pay phones at that time. And there's obviously GPS now, too, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. Versus yeah, we don't have atlases. Humans really don't have to think if they don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> 
especially not touring humans. Right. Yeah. They can just go from point I mean, to just point. Just in general, I mean, and nobody really has to think. If you got a phone, you're all right. <laughs> and we always say, like, Rick always says, ask Google. So yeah, when people right, are like, right. Rick, what's that microphone using? He's like, I don't know, just ask Google. Uh-huh. Like, it's way smarter than me. It'll explain it and all And if you better. don't know, just type in, like, three letters, and it'll automatically drop it down for you. So. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to type the whole question. No, That's no. not it. You don't even have to think Nobody even far. knows needs to know a whole word anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they are. There are a lot of schools. Uh, my little brother, they're done with spelling like pretty early on. They just don't mm-hmm. even deal with spelling. At, like yeah. he's twelve now. So, and cursive know, handwriting too. Oh yeah, way yeah. gone. It's gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what uh, Justin and I always joke. They were going to use it as like a secret code because right? <laughs> no one will know what it is. So like you can't right. read it anymore. It's the way old people will talk to each other. <laughs> yeah. <in> yeah. <laughs> like what's that? Scribbles. Yeah. <laughs> what are those? You're just making symbols, aren't you? <laughs> no, they were letters once, man. From shorthand. Letters. Yeah. Dad, I I didn't know you knew Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, you guys can take it away with your All next right. set. Well, we faded like the flowers When you phased just like the moon Then you left me empty-handed On the dark side of the room I was Fences. I was pouring out my heart while you marveled at the plastic that they use these days in cars. And we had something good, but good was never good enough for you.
the Bottle Rockets on Audio Tree Live. You guys can roll into your last one, and I will say once more that South Broadway Athletic Club is out now, and you can check them out a few more days left on tour. All right, here we go. Last song, people. Been beaten up, been beaten down, been on top of the world. I've been in danger, been safe and sound, and I handled every curve. Day to day, I find a way to give a new angle a spin. I roll with the punches, I roll with the wind. I'm a no matter what shape I'm in I've been a star and I've been a square In every other shape you could be Trapezoidal, hell, I don't care You can pin it all on me Day to day, I find a way To give a new Spin. I roll with the punches, I roll with the wind I'm a wheel, no matter what shape I'm in I'm a wheel, no matter what shape I'm in Up and away, and over and out And all points in between In certain Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with the Bottle Rockets. Thank you guys very much for Thank performing you very, for us. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew making it look beautiful, and viewers, thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send a shot via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studio, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.